Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at this very interesting question which has a block that is sliding down an incline and at the exact same time it starts sliding there is a ball that is projected from the base of the incline and both the block and the ball meet at the bottom okay so therefore the time that they travel for is exactly the same but it is also given that they basically meet with the same speed not the same velocity obviously velocity directions may be different but with the same speed nothing else is given it's a very interesting question because there's so little information but still you can solve this problem there is one unique angle of projection okay so let us try to solve this problem let us look at the question a little bit more carefully so in this question it is given that there is a block a so this block which starts sliding down from rest so this is sliding down from rest like that okay so it's going to go down and by the time it reaches the bottom right exactly at the time this ball which was also thrown which starts it's projected from the base so this ball is projected from the base so it is thrown this way and so it's going to go around like that like a projectile it goes up and it then comes down okay and so by the time it just reaches this point you see that when it reaches this point the ball and the block basically reach at the same time with the same speed so if the ball has a velocity u like this the block would have a velocity u like that okay the speeds are the same the velocities are obviously not necessarily the same okay let's call this angle of incline as alpha and we know that since this velocity is u this initial velocity must also be u and let us say the angle it makes the initial velocity makes which is the angle of projection with the horizontal let us call that theta now let us read the question very carefully as we start solving block a starts sliding down from rest it is given that it is starting to slide down from rest that means its initial velocity is of course 0 meters per second okay from the top of the frictionless incline because it's a frictionless incline wedge the acceleration you know must be equal to g sin alpha g sin alpha you know that the force downward in this direction will be mg sin alpha divided by the mass m will give you g sin alpha no friction so that is easy at the same time when a starts moving exactly at the same time as a starts moving ball b is projected from the base of this switch both the block and the ball reach the bottom simultaneously so that also tells us that if this travel time was t seconds this travel time is also t seconds so this is also t seconds now one of the things that we must be very careful about is the number of variables that we cook up in this problem nothing is given right no values are given so the only thing that is given is that the final speeds are the same the travel times are the same that's all is given so the two things that we can assume as good variables are u and t don't assume anything else okay let us go ahead and try to solve this problem using as few variables as possible now let us look at the first equation the this block it starts from here and goes till there so its speed increases from 0 to u so the change in velocity is u so if i now use v minus u well the final velocity for this is u u minus 0 is acceleration into time g sin alpha into t so this tells us one piece of information so obviously i can write this as u minus 0 is just simply u so i can write u equals g sin alpha into t okay so this is our first equation the second is that we can look at time calculation in this case right and for this u cos theta u cos theta would be the horizontal velocity u cos theta for the projectile and the vertical component is u sin theta so if i look at the change in the vertical component u sin theta becomes minus u sin theta so the change in the vertical component is 2 u sin theta divided by the acceleration which is g so that should give us the time t but that is for the this is the equation the times that we have calculated this place we have calculated it for the projectile this we have calculated for the block moving down the incline but both times are equal right so this says time t is u by g sin alpha 
Okay, so this was one equation. This was the second equation. We have equated the two, and so this gives us. I'm going to call this two, but basically I've equated one and two together here. So with this, I will be able to eliminate t and just have an equation between sine theta and sine alpha. Okay, so that gives us some information, but we have only used the fact that the times are the same. The horizontal distance moved by both of this, the inclined plane. as well as by the block well they are both equal right so we can therefore write that as well so u cos theta into t is this range like if i call this r so r is equal to u cos theta right u cos theta into the time time interval t so we know that so this is about the projectile's motion and what about this distance suppose i wanted to think about this distance let us call this distance d now d is the average velocity now you see that the average velocity is initial velocity plus final velocity by 2 because the acceleration is uniform so average velocity is u by 2 u plus 0 by 2 into t correct that is the distance d and d cos alpha must be r d cos alpha must be r i have calculated d for this uh, block and so i can write ut by 2 cos alpha so r can also be written as ut by 2 u by 2 average velocity into time which is this distance cos alpha okay so this is equation 3 actually i don't even need to call equation 1 anymore because equation 1 has already been subsumed here so we can treat this as equation 1 and we can treat this as equation 2 but since i have already written it that's good enough actually we have written four equations i have written one equation here one equation for this one right because i have written r equals u cos theta into t that is one equation r is ut by 2 into cos alpha that is the second equation ut by 2 right ut by 2 is basically this distance cos alpha that is just trigonometry so this is actually two equations time is 2u sin theta by g and time is u by g sin theta alpha so these two are also two equations so we have got two equations here and two equations here therefore we can simplify now the great thing is the way i have written it you can cancel most of it so if i now take the second equation and i try to rewrite the second equation you can see that u is going to cancel out g is going to cancel out and so i'm going to get sin alpha sin alpha is equal to sin alpha is equal to 1 by 2 sin theta so this is our first statement okay trigonometric statement and now if i look at this one i can cancel the t and i can cancel the u and so this tells me cos alpha cos alpha is 2 cos theta so this is the second equation now it becomes a mathematics problem because i have got sin alpha in terms of sin theta cos alpha in terms of cos theta and so i can write sin square alpha plus cos square alpha because i don't need alpha right the question says find the angle of projection which is theta so i need theta so sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 and but sin square alpha is this square right so that is 1 by 4 sin square theta sin square theta plus 2 cos theta whole square so that is 4 cos square theta now this is a trigonometric equation that i need to solve let us look at that little bit more carefully so if i now start looking at this equation i'm going to call sin as s and of course i can take cos and write it as 1 minus sin square so the equation really is just 1 is equal to 1 by 4 s square plus 4 times cos square theta which is 1 minus sin square theta which i can write it like this and if i cross multiply by 4 s square i'll get 4 s square is equal to 1 plus 16 s square 16 s square minus well this is already a 4 s square into 4 s square that is going to give me 16 s power 4 and so this is 16 s power 4 16 s power 4 minus 12 s square minus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore s square sin square theta is using the quadratic formula this is just a quadratic equation in s square this is s square whole square this is s square power 1 so s square is minus b 
plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac well 4 into 16 64 64 into minus 1 so that becomes plus 64 by 2 times 16 which is equal to 32 and so we can simplify this and so when i simplify this i'm going to get 3 plus or minus root 13 by 8 and since if i put a minus sign here this is 3 right which is root 9 minus root 13 is negative number and a square obviously has to be positive so we can eliminate the minus value and so we can say that sine square theta is 3 plus root 13 by 8 and which means that sine theta is root of 3 plus root 13 by 8 you also of course know that sine theta has to be a positive value right because uh, the angle has to be obviously positive in this case uh, it's a projectile right so if i now substitute the value here 3 plus root 13 that gives me root of 0.8256 okay we're just using a calculator and the root turns out to be 0 0.908 and so from all this we can say sine theta is approximately 0 0.908 which means theta must be close to close to 65.322 or 32 degrees okay so this gives us the angle of the at which the ball must be projected so it must be 65.32 degrees so we can now conclude that this angle theta is 65.32 degrees it is interesting that there is no other angle there is only one angle here this has to be 65.32 degrees and if you calculate using this the value of alpha it turns out that alpha is about 33.38 degrees that is the only possible incline and this is the only possible angle of projection for which this whole thing will work that is the block will slide down and this uh, ball will be projected upright so this ball and the block basically start together they end together so they have the same travel time they meet at the bottom and they have the same speeds okay when they basically meet or when they collide so that whole thing is only possible with this one interesting angle okay so if you think about it the question had no other information given okay so these kinds of questions are a little tricky of course but they are also very very interesting to solve and it's telling you something fantastic it is saying that i have given you some information from the question the question's information says that if you throw the ball at the same time as you release the block the block comes down and the ball goes up and comes back they meet at the same time so the travel times are the same and their speeds are the same that is possible for only one incline angle and for one unique angle of projection which happens to be 65.32 degrees i hope you understood the solution and until we meet next time keep learning